Hukong Meteorite, the amazing 4.5 billion year old palisite. In 2000, an anonymous hiker came across a 1,003 kg meteorite in the Gobi Desert near Fukong, in China's Xinjiang Uyghur province. The way the story goes, this hiker had regularly stopped to eat at this rock on his hikes and had grown curious about just what kind of rock it was. The hiker sent pieces of the rock to be examined in the US, where its identity as a meteorite was confirmed. The Fukong meteorite made its public debut at the Tucson Gem and Mineral Show in February 2005. There, it weighed 983 kilograms. The finder had removed approximately 20 kilograms from the meteorite before putting it on display. The Fukong meteorite is a palisite meteorite. Palisites are named after a German doctor and naturalist, Simon Peter Pallas, who described the Krasnoharsk palisite in 1772. The Krasnoharsk palisite was a 700 kilogram meteorite discovered in Krasnoyarsk, Russia in 1772. Stony iron meteorites are made up of approximately equal amounts of silicate materials and nickel iron metals. Palisites are a subset of stony iron meteorites. Palisites are made up of a network of nickel iron metal around crystals of olivine, a silicate mineral. Olivine is a rock forming mineral found on Earth in mafic and ultramafic igneous rocks like basalt, gabbro, dunite, diabase, and peridotite. Olivine is the mineral from which the gemstone peridot, August's birthstone, is formed. Earthly olivine is present in the planet's mantle and appears in xenoliths, which are thrown on the surface by volcanic eruptions. But, as we know from the Fukong meteorite, there is extraterrestrial olivine out there, too. Palisite meteorites containing olivine are said to come from the mantle of a rocky planet that orbited between Mars and Jupiter. If not from a planet, it may have come from an asteroid big enough to have a distinct rock mantle and metallic core, a differentiated asteroid. Palisite meteorites are exceedingly rare since very few make it all the way through Earth's atmosphere to land on the planet. Some have said that less than 1% of all meteorites are palisites. How old do we think the Fukong meteorite is? The Fukong meteorite is thought to have come from a planet or differentiated asteroid that was destroyed during the early formation of our solar system, roughly 4 billion 500 million years ago. Meteorites that are not completely destroyed by entry into Earth's atmosphere are usually shattered into the tiniest fragments even before they land. Landing commonly vaporizes any substantial chunks of meteorites that make it that far. The odds against a 1,000kg meteorite making it to Gobi Desert in China to be stumbled upon by an anonymous hiker are stupendous. What has been discovered about the Fukong meteorite? The University of Arizona's drive Dante Loretta saw the Fukong meteorite at the 2005 Tucson Gem and Mineral Show. The Fukong meteorite was investigated at the Southwest Meteorite Center, Lunar and Planetary Laboratory at the University of Arizona in Tucson. Their findings were reported in, the Fukong Palisite, Evidence for Non-Equilibrium Shock Processing, in Lunar and Planetary Science 37, 2006. The investigators analyzed polished slabs from the meteorite and prepared thin sections of olivine-rich regions of the Fukong. The most noteworthy observation of the macroscopic specimen is its enormous mass and the presence of large olivine, clusters, heterogeneously distributed throughout the entire specimen. They range in size from less than 5 mm to several centimeters. Fukong contains several regions of, massive, olivine clusters up to 11 cm in diameter with thin metal veins only a few millimeters in width. Olivines vary in shape from rounded to angular. A subset of the olivine grains are highly fractured and exhibit a, cloudy, appearance. Other olivines are unfractured and clear. The University of Arizona continues to hold a 31 kg specimen of the Fukong meteorite. Their website about the Fukong Palisite describes it as, the most spectacular example of natural cosmic splendor. Curator Marvin Kilgore also owns a 31kg specimen of the Fukong meteorite. The embedding of olivine crystals that makes a palisite a palisite also makes these meteorites hauntingly beautiful. Slices of the Fukong meteorite held up to light seem to glow as the light passes through the olivines scattered within the nickel-iron matrix. These are not dull lumps, but consist of roughly a 50 to 50 mix of metal and olivine crystals. Imagine light streaming through stained glass set within a network of lead but then remember that this, window, is over 4 billion 500 million years old and from deep space. The Southwest Meteorite Laboratory describes the Fukong meteorite this way. The Fukong palisite displays celestial yellow-green olivine crystals in an illustrious nickel-iron matrix. Backlit slices from the Fukong mass are reminiscent of stained glass windows crafted in the ancient solar system. 
when Fukong Meteorite put at auction. Collectors are eager to acquire slices of the Fukong Meteorite. In February 2020, you could purchase 16.7 gram and 17.8 gram fragments of the Fukong Meteorite for $584.50 or $623. Smaller pieces are out of stock. In the market for something a little bigger. In April 2008, Bonham's auction house placed a 420 kg mass of the Fukong Meteorite up for auction. It was marketed as, the world's most spectacular meteorite, a magnificent space gem discovery. It was cut and polished to display a 36-inch by 19-inch window into its olivine metal matrix. Auction and meteorite watchers anticipated the main mass of the Fukong meteorite would receive bids in the range of $2 million. One online curator and auction aggregator listed the Fukong meteorite as number one in, top 10 most expensive meteorites ever offered up on Earth. Unfortunately, no bids came at Bonham's attempt to sell the Fukong. At the same auction, two pieces of 130 million year old dinosaur dung, aka coprolite, sold for $960. In July 2019, a 2.5 inch by 2.5 inch by 1.66 inch block of the Fukong meteorite was offered in the Moon and Beyond meteorites from the Stifler collection, an online auction, with an estimate of between $25,000 and $35,000. The value of the Fukong meteorite comes from its rarity, palisites are true minorities amongst the meteorite classes, and beauty. It's not really a function of size. The Fukong meteorite was not one of Earth's top 10 greatest hits. Thank you for watching please like share and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos, see you on my next video.